there's a plane up there. It's one of those air ads. You can barely see what it says. I think it says, Watch Dom's Fishing Adventures. This, this, <laughs> Again, there's something about your lures that making them squirt more than usual. Welcome back, folks. My name is Dom. This is Dom's Fishing Adventures. Today, we've got something very really special. I've got a friend of mine all the way in Victoria. His name is Dinga from Murray Crab Fishing. He's got a YouTube channel. Check him out. And he has given me something that's going to revolutionise the way people make lures. Stay tuned and enjoy. Well, it is a lovely Saturday morning. It is summertime. There is no wind. Usually for squid, I do like a little bit of wind. But uh, this is just, just glassed out. And it is so hot. This is no breeze. I'm actually getting quite warm already. Anyway, so as I said, I got this package from a mate of mine, Dinga, and he makes lures using something that nobody else does in the world. And hopefully he does really well. I'll just let you look at this. It's a squid jig, right? And he specially made this for me. If you look closely, you can see the lines of the raw product. I'll tell you. It's made out of a corn cob. That's right. First ever on Dom's Fishing Adventures. Probably the world's first squid jig made from a corn cob. He actually did quite a good job. He has a, a movie on it on how he made it. I'll put the link on when he uh, tells me it's ready. But uh, I'm very curious. And you know, thanks very much, mate. I'm actually very excited for you because you are doing such a great job on getting these lures out. He goes for all uh, cods, trouts, uh, he mainly does fresh water stuff, but he gave me this one here and uh, let's see how it works. I hope I really don't lose it because um, it would be a shame because a lot of work involved in making this. I'm going to make sure my clips are closed. Yeah, that's pretty secure, my line's pretty good. Let's get into it. Well, it casts pretty good. Let's see how it works on the water. In the meantime, I'll get out one of the other jigs. A bit of a comparison. As I said, we're not moving very far, so I don't want to cast too far because we're not really drifting much at all. Okay, so I'm definitely on. Oh. So, Dinger, mate, your jig works. Okay. Well, oh, it's a big one, too. No. Oh, it's, it's a big one. There's no two ways about it. Well done. First jig of the day. We went for the... Went for the... Uh, went for the corn, cob, squid jig. And that is a stonker. <laughs> Mate, that is a killer jig already. Check that out. Corn, cob, squid. Mate, just love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Take a few fiolos and uh, let's see if this stuff produces again. Awesome. That's the jig. <laughs> first cast, first squid, world's first squid jig made from corn cob. Mate, Dinger, you're a, you're a legend. On a hot day, too. Really hot. Okay. Well, I definitely have got one. Not on the corn. Whoa, 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 it's a big one. It's big. The water's so clear. Lovely. Oh. Oh, it's a big one. 
Big one full of juice. Absolute dollar. That is a fine specimen on that one. Really nice big squid. Right, so I got one. Uh, hopefully the camera will go and pick this one up. I got a camera under water. There is a small one. Awesome. Beautiful. <laughs> How about that? Lovely. Got him under action. Awesome. Yeah, so squid fishing on these really calm days is more challenging because you've got to cast out and really work the jig. Also, ideally, it's good to troll in these conditions, which I might do because it's getting very, very quiet in the last half hour. So we are hooked up on this one here. It's my lime white one. That's my favourite one. Beautiful, absolutely fine specimen. Now. Welcome aboard, mate. Another crack of a squid. Nothing great, but uh, absolutely beautiful. Now I've got a big one here. I'm using my um, Tifron Jeep digs. Lovely. Absolute pearler. And these red jigs are just my favourite. We're in deeper water, so I thought I'd use my deep, deeper jigs to catch them purely like that. Fantastic. <laughs> anyway, it's caught about four or five, which is great. It's getting pretty quiet. <laughs> These are the times when you start thinking, gee, what shall I do? Shall I move to another spot, which I already have? Troll or just keep going? And it's just hot, sweaty, but still great. Great joy to be out in the water. Put in the wrong spot, there's a lot of boats going past. I'm getting someone to follow this. Looks like a good squid. Yeah, got him. Here he is. Beautiful. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that there is what it's all about. Just beautiful, lovely, fresh seafood, calamari. That's really beautiful. There you go, see so that right tip. It is on the bottom or I've got a squid. That there is fine squid. Unless I'm on the bottom. Yeah, it's on the bottom. That's no good. That's the corn cob one, I think. Oh, my favourite. Yeah, it looks like I'm pretty, pretty snagged. That is the corn cob jig. I'm pretty upset if I did lose it. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, freed it. Oh, my God. I actually got myself an octopus. <laughs> How about that? Finger for Murray Crab Fishing. <laughs> you didn't expect to get an octopus on this jig. So what he did, he grabbed onto it and he went down to a rock. I thought the jig was lost. I'm just so happy. He's a tiny octopus and uh, he might be a little good eating in the marinara. <laughs> Absolutely. Mate, I'm wrapped, I've got the jig back. Put it this way. <laughs> oh man, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I didn't lose this. I would feel so bad. So much work and effort to make in this, this lure made out of corn cob. Squid and octopus. Good thing about this cheek, but it's made out of corn cob. It's actually quite heavy, which I, I do like having a heavy cheek. Yeah. Okay, about time. There's another fine specimen on this one. On the lime jig again. 
<laughs> Mate, they sure know how to squirt and reach the target, otherwise it's the other camera. <laughs> and I wasn't filming, but I was actually really working the jig. So as I said, you've got to work these jigs to make sure that the squid come in for the kill, grab onto it, and then you're happy days because he's on board. Another fine one. You just get out of here. It's getting very quiet. Let's go. Tell, but it's a bit dark, some broken bottom, sand patches. So uh, this might be a good spot for squid. We're in about 12 metres of water, that's what I like to have in the squid. So, let's get another shot. Oh, big stonker one, we're right in really close, shallow. And uh, you can see right through the water. I've got to put the camera in the water. But this is a dinosaur one. Oh. Love like big specimen on there. Absolutely perler. Oh, big dinosaur. Oh. oh. I have to move again. Lucky I found this spot. I really hope that one goes off. Jake. Oh, there's a lovely, lovely specimen on this one. I changed the jig to a blue one. And that is just sweet, beautiful. So we're not losing big ones. Absolutely juicy, plump, big one. Got another one. We've actually got a fair few jigs out here. Oh! And let's see if I can... Woo! Thanks mate. I needed the calling down. <laughs> I hope he's got a friend. Oh, oh yeah. On you dingo. Stop the um... The corn cob. Squid, love it. Whoa, <laughs> celebrations. Awesome. Quickly show the, the spot I'm in, as in zone wise. You should be able to see because it's nice and light. So you've got that nice sandy and then that dark spot, which is the weed. And that's, what you, that's where the squid will hunt around. And, and I've actually, believe it or not, I've actually had to work hard today trying to find the spot. I'm lucky now the wind's picking up, which is great. I've got a fair few, I just want to get maybe one or two more, see how this uh, corn cob squid jig goes, because it's, it's no fluke, it has caught a couple, so, I mean, and just, just give it the light, just silhouettes orange, orange I'm a big fan, but I don't have many of these jigs, but I'll definitely keep this one in the arsenal for next time, anyway, enough flip up, let's get a few more. You beauty, I've got a squid on this jig here, where there's a camera attached to it. That's going to be epic. Oh, splash. And that is awesome. Hopefully, I'll get to view that footage later on. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, baby! Oh, yeah. Just mucking around, put this weight. Not a fine specimen here. And you can just see that it's really. Oh, there you go. And just this um, water, I should have come in before. Oh, that's nice and cool. But uh, it's nice and dark, and this one here might have another one too. Oh, you beauty. Again, that's the one with the camera on it. Might be on. Yeah, he's on. That's awesome. I like the, the cuttlefish. Cuttlefish. Oh, I think I'll let this guy go. Whoa! This guy go. Whoa! Yeah, 
I'll let you go, you won't. There you mate. Alright. So Mr. Dingar Murray Crab Fishing Corn Cob Lua. Oh, he's done it again. And he's a stonker one. Oh, he's actually. Yeah, yeah, he's on. Like, like this. Look this. Look. Lua. <laughs> again. There's something about your lures that making them squirt more than usual. Absolutely awesome. Okay, fine people. That's it for me today on the squid. I might go get some whiting, but I think I might go home and have an early afternoon. But uh, that squid chick there, I've, I've been raving on about it. Um, mainly because of the workmanship involved from this chap. So, I mean, it's just a, the workmanship involved in that. It's like a corn cob. I've already shown you this before, but uh, then he put some sort of resin and stuff on it. And he really done a good job. So definitely go and check him out if you're a subscriber to me and, and you're curious or even if you just want to see what this guy's on about. Murray Crab Fishing. Check it out, I'll put the link there. And uh, go on your dinger, works mate. When we can catch up, we'll have a beer together. Anyway, I'm out of here. Take it easy. I might do a catch a cook. If not, we'll um, see you next time.